Well, welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at an upcoming San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel and Mattel Creations, of which, if you're not headed to the con, you can grab this starting July 25th on Mattel Creations, but straight from their brand new Street Sharks Revival toy line, we have Ripster in A Shark Among Us, and that is the very title from the old animated series of which this episode brings us this specific action figure. Now, this is basically the drug episode. Ripster goes undercover to a pool hall of which you're getting all this glorious artwork, this imagery that's all over the box from old payphones to graffiti to then having the street sharks listening in on Ripster at the back within the dumpster area. It's great. I love the artwork on this packaging and it's also a slip case cover of which you can clearly see Ripster in the pool hall in that broken out window. And if you forget, his name is emblazoned at the top of the box. But I do enjoy all that glorious 90s artwork, including that glorious purple mohawk. The back side of the box, Ripster in a shark among us of which the artwork is specifically from a specific scene in said episode. And yes, I did screen grab all of that. So that's nice to see. That's a nice attention to detail. And that is a lot of fun to see it all as a cohesive product. Although I have to point out, and specifically for myself, as I'm honestly not too familiar with this episode, I did go back and watch it. It is wild, but it kind of looks like blind guy ripster as opposed to pool shark ripster. You know what I mean? It just, he's got that daredevil thing going on. <laughs> and you can screen grab this if you want to read up more on Ripster and a shark among us. It has the best shark puns. I'm as serious as a shark attack. So this is going to be absolutely jawsome. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the upcoming Mattel slash Mattel creations from their brand new Street Sharks toy line, the STCC 2024 exclusive Ripster in the episode entitled A Shark Among Us. Now, before we get started, for those of you interested in grabbing this and wanting to take it out of the packaging, I think a lot of people will probably leave this in the packaging. You have to cut a couple twist ties and you could easily remove Ripster, but then you kind of lose that effect. So I'm not gonna lie. So for a lot of you out there, this might just be that collector's item, that specific Street Sharks item that you keep on your shelf all boxed up. But for me, it's gonna take it out of the box anyways because it just seems cooler. Now, in terms of everything in the box, yes, you can take everything off of Ripster if you'd like, or you could just leave him as is, but you get several accessories. And for any reason, if you get confused, Mattel has given this little tips diagram on how to remove the hands. I'll show you all of that. Of course, it's very simplistic, very easy peasy. And then on the back side, it will show you exactly how to play with said figure. Again, in case you get confused or have never seen a Street Sharks figure, it's pretty self-explanatory, but hey, I'm here to help you out. So again, here's everything out of the box. You get a really nice hand-sewn leather jacket, of which, yes, you can totally put this on Ripster. It doesn't have a zipper, it looks like it does, but the stitching, the overall look of the jacket, the color, all the buttons, it's really well done. It's a nice oversized shark man jacket, but I'll tell you this, just be careful. Don't get the material lodged in the joints as you can kind of see it kind of bunches up. You might hurt it in that way. And then also in the episode when they put the jacket on Ripster, the inside was yellow. Here it's black. You never see it again, but just as a continuity aspect. Now you do get a pool cue of which, yes, that's directly from the episode. It does have a nice handle to it. It does have a nice design. You really have to look close. I wish they would have given that a wash to kind of bring that out just a little bit better. I do think that it is missing the tip of the pool cue. That's something that would have been a little bit better to add because, and as I already said, it kind of comes across more as a blind walking stick as opposed to a pool cue because of some of those missing details. You get this blast effect of which it attaches 
to the tip of the pool cue. It has some nice paint to it. It is simply just one big plastic piece, but hey, it totally works. And for that alone, in representing his super cue with all its explosive power, it's a nice blast effect, if anything. I'm glad they put it in the box. Now what's fun is that you do get a pair of awesome 90s sunglasses. They're all blue, they have lenses, at the tips of the glasses, they do have little hooks that will clip into the sides of his head, as you can clearly see. But it's not designated, it's just part of the sculpt. So they do stay on there rather nicely. In terms of Ripster, for this version, it's very much the cartoon version of the character. And for that alone, that is very nice. It has a very pearlescent blue. It's nice to see, although I will point out, with the shark skin, with that material compared to the plastic of the arms, it doesn't exactly match perfectly, but that's where the jacket covers it up, just FYI. Also, this part is a little bit more of a blue. You have the chomping action, which, hey, that always works well, especially with the giant eye effect. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a lot of fun. Now, for those of you out there who have already gotten Ripster from Wave 1, you're probably well adverse to knowing that he has a power punch effect. You simply twist him at the waist, and you can give old Dr. Peronoid the proper one, too. The leg articulation, the knee articulation, everything is exactly the same, and that's kind of a bummer because they reuse the body, of which, in the animated episode, the boots are a little bit different to what you see here. I would have liked to have seen that changed at the very least, and no, they still don't have peg holes on the bottom. And yes, like I said, from all the effects that the shark has, from the rubbery skin, to the chomping effect, to the punching effect, the part of the fun is making him get all dressed up. So you remove the hands, get the arms going back as such, get the jacket, simply slip it on, get it all nice and snug, up the arms, reattach the hands, and bingo bango, you got yourself a pool shark, Ripster. <laughs> and actually, I prefer that name. Pool Shark Ripster. The collar, you keep that up. I kind of think it looks cooler with it up, to be honest with you. The articulation is really not hindered at all. Like I said, just don't get the material stuck in the joints. You can still use the chompy. You can still use his power punching. The jacket is really well done. It does not hinder any of this Jossum Shark's articulation whatsoever but he is missing his glasses and they attach beautifully they simply just ports into the little sculpted lines on the sides of his head they stay on there really nicely they're not going to fall off unless you physically pull them off they're ridiculously goofy i just love them overall give him his pool cue and he is ready to go undercover and find out who is making those blue tabs <laughs> like i said it's it's the drug episode. And yes, you can attach the blast effect to the end of the pool cue, although it will get kind of heavy. You can already kind of see it's kind of dipping right there. So keep it on there. Maybe sometimes, maybe not all the time. You do what you like. Your shark is your business. But what I do like is that glasses on, glasses off, however you choose to stand him. It is a cool looking 90s Street Sharks action figure. And if you wanted to see the difference between Wave 1's Ripster and now this Pool Shark Ripster, it's a difference of basically the colors, some added clothes, sunglasses. Yeah, not all that much of a difference. And for those of you wondering, because I know you are, yes, you can put the glasses on the Wave 1 Ripster as well. When it comes to the Pool Shark Ripster in accordance with Jab and then Slash, yes, they will all fit together. They all look great. And I'm very excited to get Wave 2's Big Slam Moo Streaks and Dr. Piranoi. This has been a really fun toy line thus far. It's goofy. It's so dumb. It's so ridiculous but it's so much fun. So that will wrap it up for my quick early look at the upcoming San Diego Comic-Con 2024 Mattel, Mattel Creations exclusive, the Street Sharks, a shark among us, pool shark, pool hall, ripster. As I say, you have to say so many things now when describing these figures, but if you want one for yourself, Starting July 25th, early morning for Comic-Con. If you're going to be at home, you should have no problem grabbing it. But around 9 a.m. Pacific, 
that's around noon Eastern. You can grab one of these on the Mattel Creations website. Or for those of you attending a San Diego Comic-Con, you can head over to the Mattel booth and grab one there for yourself. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Street Sharks. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, stay tuned for my San Diego Comic-Con coverage. I'm sure we'll have a lot more Street Sharks to talk about. It should be a blast. And when it is, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay awesome.